but whenever he's here eating this it will trigger the lock and we'll lock it hello guys life hackster here so today is gonna be a fun video and i don't even know if it is going to work but i'm gonna set up a trap and as you can see here i'm we are in our little garden and uh, there is something that has been eating all our tomatoes and also our sweet peppers and i think the carrots and uh, my wife has already cleaned it up she harvested all that she can but tonight or the next few days i'm not sure if it's gonna work tonight and just one night but it might might not we will see but i've set up a trap right here and my bait will be apples for tonight and that is because i'm assuming well i have a strong feeling that these are the possums that been ravaging our garden so this is the trap that i set up and i also set up some cameras I got my Uficam 2 Pro right here and also the Uficam 2C Pro. I'll try to link them and whenever uh, one of the cameras activates then the other one will also activate. I'll set them to the highest sensitivity. The 2C Pro should be recording in full color and I'm the, I don't know if I've told you guys that I also have my Lightroom Solar Lights right here. They are set to uh, dust to dawn and uh, low intensity and when it senses motion it goes to high intensity. But we will see later on tonight. And by the way, on how this trap works. So if, if the critter comes in, eats, <laughs> eats the apple and says like, oh there's some more right here. And then he goes, let me see, right there, boom. Now he is trapped. So set it just flip it like so and it's ready to go all right so we will see Okay, so first night, there's nothing in the trap, but it triggered the camera last night only a couple times, and it seems like it is not a possum. It is this one, I think. It's too fast. I don't know if you did see it. It is a rat. It just moved too fast. It's just a blur here. And now I've added a mouse trap, and I'm gonna add the bait on that one too. So we'll see if we can catch this later tonight. We can catch the mouse, and I guess it is a mouse, a rat, uh, and not a possum. The first night, as you've seen, it is a mouse or a rat, which uh, last night it wasn't. It was the possum. So the possum is still involved in this. And I think, I always think that it was the possum. But he is a little bit smarter than I thought. So in the entrance of the trap, I placed a uh, piece of apple, a slice of apple, and he did able to eat it, as you can see. But he didn't go in for the kill or <laughs> for the trap. He didn't go in for more apples right there. He probably knew that platform will trigger the trap to close. Also, I'm not really happy with the performance of the the Eufy cameras. The Eufy Cam 2 Pro, I've set it to optimize surveillance, but it's only recording in five second clips. So I'm, I'm gonna put in a customized recording and I'm gonna get it a little bit closer. 
the Uficam 2C Pro this is in customized mode 60 seconds so that worked all right so by the way if you find this video and my other videos helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload this type of videos product reviews product updates comparison videos and long-term reviews thank you all right so this is gonna be our setup for tonight I placed the uh, trap I guess perpendicular to the garden bed and see and hopefully he'll be able to get in through that side and I got some old peaches as, as a bait and I've added the Wisecam version 3 and this is recording 24 7 right now and all of them will be in night vision uh, infrared night vision mode tonight I took off the lights the solar lights so hopefully we can get a clear footage compared to a uh, color blurry footage from last night so we will see and hopefully our little critter will not disappoint So it's a little bit rainy this morning and as you've seen last night still not able to get this critter uh, this little possum that we have now as you see in the video um, he is too light for the for the trap so as you, you saw it that he was sitting on that little trigger plate and nothing not able to trigger actually I I came out I came out to adjust this this is the max setting see it's pretty like a hair trigger here but I'm gonna regroup I might change the trap or I'm gonna modify it a little bit and I have an idea all right so as you know that our little critter is not heavy enough to trigger this platform right here to close the trap door what I'm gonna use is the Weiss lock and I put a rope right here let's uh, there you go let's set this up now this rope and i have put a little uh wedge type of wood i cut it in angled wood so that whenever this thumb turn turns it will pull the rope and it will flip this handle up to close the trap door now to automate this i use a y sense sensor now i duct tape this not just for weatherproofing but also to minimize uh, false motion alerts now this is uh, set up through my Wisecam version 2 which has the bridge I'm testing right now if motion is from here then there should be no 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 false alerts when the when he tries going from the outside but when he goes inside and triggers this there you go and it should there <laughs> hopefully this works all right so we will set this up Well, my hacked smart animal trap worked. 
By the way, I was watching this live when it happened and I can feel my heart beating while I was waiting and hoping that the trap closes while he is still inside. Okay, things I learned from all of these. The UV cameras, the 2 Pro and the 2C Pro are pretty spot on in detection and even when they have their AI person detection turned on. It only works in daytime and at night it still records any heat movement, which as you know it is a PIR based camera. On the highest setting, it was still able to detect even that little rat that was running around. The downsides though, especially with animals, they are pretty quick that by the time the camera turns on to start recording, they are out of the frame of the camera. Also, not all motion are recorded. As to linking and the automation option, like when one camera detects motion and you want all other cameras also to record, you will need to change the power options of the cameras to customize recording to whatever length you want. 5 seconds to 2 minutes, and turn off end clip if motion stops. Because if a linked camera is triggered, even if you have it in optimized surveillance, because there is really no motion that triggered it, then it will only record the minimum time, which is 5 seconds. And that is what happened to my Eufy Cam 2 Pro the second night. It only recorded 5 second clips. This is why on the third and fourth nights, I also used the Wisecam V3 and just set it to record continuously all night, which it captured all events and has a pretty good infrared night vision for a 1080p camera. The downside is that it is wired and needs to be plugged in. And also Wise's AI didn't work, which they have pet detection, but technically possums or rats are not pet anyways. But I didn't get any alerts from the Wisecam, so I still relied on my Eufy cameras for that. Also, Wise's rules option worked flawlessly in my Wise sensor to Wise lock setup, which I just need to click the plus sign on the upper left corner, click add rule, name it, which I named mine trap, device trigger, which will be the motion sensor, which I named trap sensor, I chose detects motion, save, and as to action will be the Wise lock. And the lock is the only option and that's for safety. You can set it to schedule if you want. And save it when you are done. And that was it. It worked every time. There were a lot of Wises devices that were involved in this simple automation. Motion sensor needs to pass the information to the Wise bridge, which is connected to the Wisecam V2. And then in turn via Wi-Fi, signal was passed through the Wise gateway and in turn passed it to the Wise lock. So total of five devices. And it wasn't instantaneous, but it wasn't delayed either. Around 3 seconds, it worked pretty good. Anyways, that's it for this video and I hope you all enjoyed it. Well, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Alright buddy, time to go.